Waterfront communities across Tampa Bay are bracing for more flooding just like this one. Good evening. I'm Jamison Euler and I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. High tide is just over an hour from now and something called a king tide is inundating neighborhoods. Our Sarah Hollenbeck is live in the Shore Acres neighborhood of St. Pete for us tonight, Sarah. You know, they're used to a lot of flooding in this neighborhood, but never anything like this. Just take a look at how bright and sunny it is out here. Usually it's when it's raining that they get flooded, but right now it is beautiful out here and they're still bracing for round two. I opened the door and it was like <gasps> everything was underwater. Margaret O'Connell couldn't believe her eyes. It happened so fast. Her neighborhood went from perfectly dry to drenched in less than three hours. It looked like a river. It, it was just, it was amazing. Everything was covered in water. Just down the street, Lauren McGrath's friends snapped these pictures near Connecticut and Overlook Drive. It's very weird. It looks like it was raining for days and then it didn't rain at all and here's all this water. You can blame something called a king tide caused by an alignment between the sun and moon. I think drowning tide would be a more appropriate name for the thing. King tides are relatively common, but Hurricane Nate churned up golf waters, causing bad flooding in St. Pete Beach, too. Right now, signs in shore acres warn drivers about the next round of flooding and impassable roads. I hope it doesn't flood again, but I'm sure we're going to get it. O'Connell is already making herself cozy. I guess I'm not going to leave the neighborhood. Me and the cat will hunker down and that'll be that. Now this recreation center was the worst area over the weekend and they are expecting the floodwaters to once again be just as bad in this area. High tide is at 630 tonight. Reporting live in Shore Acres, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.